Hey everybody, this is Dave Black with SEM Rush. Not only is this video a chance for me to show off the new interface, but I also wanted it to double as an introductory for some of our newer customers. The first thing you're going to notice is how it looks cosmetically. We've traded in the classic white and red for a more modern color scheme that's better organized and still easy on the eyes. The header's been updated too, but the SEMrush bar stays in place, along with the search button and drop down menu used to toggle through our 11 different databases. To the top left, you'll find information about pricing and contact. Under the knowledge menu, you'll find our API, as well as some additional stuff. To the top right, you can access all facets of your account, including your profile, payments, query history, API, and something we never want you to do, which is log out. Next, you'll see that we turned our attention to the most integral part of any software, navigation. In place of the old list of reports is actually still a list of reports that are available to you, but this time we focused our efforts on organization and accessibility. Now since I've already made a query for Zappos.com, I'm automatically brought to the domain overview. Choosing dashboard will always bring you back to this report, whatever domain or keyword you've chosen to analyze. The next branch in our navigation menu is geared toward organic research. In this section, you'll be able to access all the organic reports related to your domain query. The organic positions report competitors in an organic search, the top 200 keyword positions, the organic keywords associated with the exact URL, and the potential ads traffic buyers report. And now you have advertising research. In this section, you'll be able to access all the ads reports related to your domain query. The ads positions report, competitors and ads results, ads text, the ads keywords associated with the exact URL, potential ads traffic sellers, and the domain's AdSense report. As we all know, SEMrush is great for keyword research too. Let's query the keyword SEO services. The first place we come to is the keyword overview, containing the keyword summary and trends graph. Choosing full search takes you directly to the phrase match report, and choosing related does the same for the related keywords report. Our backlink section, though still in beta, is coming along great. Choose subdomain for requests such as books.amazon.com or news.google.com. Choose Domain to show the backlinks relevant to the domain only. Choosing URL displays all the backlinks pointing to an exact URL. Now if you look under Tools, we have some additional reporting features that allow you to compare the ranking positions of the keywords that two domains share in common. We've added an intuitive drop-down menu feature that allows you to easily choose which report you'd like to view. This is useful in situations where one domain ranks organically for keywords that another domain purchases ads for and vice versa. Our chart section remains unchanged with the ability to toggle between six different trends for a snapshot of historical SEMrush data. Use the option below to embed this trend graph into your website or blog. The last thing we're going to look at is the winners and losers report. I know a few people will think this is new, but it's actually one that we've had for quite some time, but we're just giving it a chance to shine now. Check this report out for a list of domains sorted by the largest positive difference within a domain's traffic stats as compared to that of last month. For example, what we're seeing here is that last month, Yelp.com had the most growth in the amount of organic results. You can sort this table to show growth or reduction for any of these categories. Well, that's it for now. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. We're always happy to help.